it finally stopped raining. What's up guys? How's it going? Mark from 408. So it's been raining for three days straight. We had more rain in three days than I think we had all year. So the river has come down a little bit, but it was almost up to the fence on the other side. Usually it's like 20 feet wide. It's probably like 150, 200 in some spots. Like you can see it's way up over there. So I was debating on skipping it yesterday, but it was way too dangerous. So maybe today. But it's been a bit of a tough week. I lost my grandpa on Wednesday. So, and uh, yeah, just kind of been hanging out, laying low, relaxing, taking it all in. So today we're gonna wash the Maverick and then we're gonna go for a rip in the uh, Buddy's GTR, 600 horsepower. So this thing is still dirty for the weekend. Obviously I washed it up there, but you know, you never get everything off, right? So. And then also, Olight is having a sale. Where are they? Some of these Chemistry flashlights. Here they are. Um, so they got the new limited white edition flashlights here. This one's the S2R Baton. And then this is the Baton 3. I really like this one because it comes in a, a rechargeable pack. So I really flip it open, pop it out. It's good for about three charges. So I do love these lights. They have tons of different ones. They're always sending me lights. Pen lights. You got this little lantern. Some mini lights. Super mini lights. Uh, this is kind of like a little bulb light. And uh, another little mini one there. So check them out. Limited edition white ones. I don't, I, this is the first white one I've ever had. Because they haven't made them obviously. So and another thing too, views. <sighs> So unmotivating. It feels like YouTube is pushing me out. I don't know why. It sucks you can't really travel now. Traveling always does so much better for videos, but the border's closed. Obviously, I want to travel soon, but yeah, and it's just like I have 360,000 subscribers that I didn't buy. I earned them all. 12 years of hard work and literally broke my back for it. And uh, now I'm barely getting a thousand views per video. It's, so if any way, any way, shape, or form you guys can help comment, like, uh, share videos on your Facebook. That would be much appreciated. So anyways, let's go watch the Maverick and uh, go for a rip in this GTR. Oh man, this thing needs to be cleaned. All that junk underneath. All the sand. Look at the sand inside. <laughs> See, quite filthy. Get all the, get all the crap out of it. Time to jack her up. So I find this is the best way to wash your machine because everything in a side by side just gets blown back and forth. So if you jack it up a tree or hydro pole or something, everything you wash just rinses straight out the back. So try to put her as high as possible. Then when you wash everything, slide straight out the back. So make sure you shut it off. Yeah, all the dirt on the top. I like to put it down give it a quick rinse, get the stuff off the roof, and put it up, do it, and then put it back down and give it that final, final wash. So let's uh, keep going here. All right, and that's how you do her. Speck and span. Three rinses, two different soaps, some degreaser, get all the schmutz off. And he's here, look at this beast. 600 horsepower. You can hear him coming up the road. <laughs> oh man. And yes, I run 94 in the pump because that's all I have. Because I have to run 94 in this for the launch control. Oh yeah, we had a tree fall down the other day. Look at this beast. She's cleaner than the Mav. Looks fast. How's it going? Oh, good. How are you? <laughs> good. I can hear you coming up the road. <laughs> it's not a bad spot, eh? We lost a lot of trees the other day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh man. So this is it, eh? This is, this is a toy, yeah. Everyone scan this. I don't know if it'll work through the screen, but... <laughs> is that your Instagram on there? Uh, yeah, that's my detailing page. Oh, nice, nice. So you do detailing, too. Sweet. Well... I'm gonna clean this stuff up and then we'll go for a rip. All right, back to the house. 
Nice, fresh, clean Maverick. She's still for sale if anyone wants it. I think a rental company in Toronto might buy it, actually. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> Sounds mean. So we're gonna do a few launches on the road, then we're gonna take the Maverick out. Maybe give her one more. <laughs> Piss off the neighbors a little bit. All right, let's go for a rip. Now let's put my head against the seat. We'll scare this guy on the bicycle. Is this all wheel drive? This is all wheel okay, drive. Okay, yeah. Or else you would have just put a big rubber patch to see the burnout on the road we did. That, that was you guys? Yeah, it goes from uh, the house all the way up to the next town. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah, take it. Oh, yeah, they love us. Take it right here. So, tell us some details about this thing. So, I got this car last year. Uh, I was in around Christmas time. Uh, so, I bought it from Toronto and then. I drove it here all the way to London. It was actually very sketchy because the, there was like a winter storm. Oh, yeah. And, yeah, so my car, like this thing has uh, all season tires. Well, they're absolutely crap in the winter. <laughs> I would not suggest driving those uh, in the winter. But anyways, um, so I brought it to London. Um, first thing I did was get a bunch of parts. I got I got downpipes, I got midpipe, I got a set of injectors, 1000 cc's. Um, I got... I got intakes, three inch intakes, and no fuel pumps, so that's about it. And then I went to this place in Toronto, uh, it's called Master Tune. They're very good with GTRs, they're uh, like one of the biggest shops in Toronto for GTRs. And, uh, and yeah, I got a tune, uh, she made 600 wheel all wheel drive uh, horsepower and like 590 torque. Wow. Yeah, so. <laughs> and that's it. And that's uh, that's like around I would say like probably 700 to the crank. Wow. Yeah. How is it on fuel? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> Especially when you drive it like yeah, a race car. Yeah. Sounds so much cooler. Yeah, so this is actually a track edition GTR. Yeah. Um, so for this color, there's only one that's produced in North America for the year. Yeah. So I guess it's kind of rare. So this, uh, is, the this only is the only one, one of this year. Yeah, this year that's with this color. Wow. So there's I, there's like an actual so like an online sheet where it tells you like how many track editions are in the world. Yeah. And what color and what year. So I looked it up. This was the only one. That's sick. <laughs> That, that makes you feel special, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I love rare things. <laughs> so we got, what do we got? Coolant temp, engine yeah, oil so pressure. I can switch and I can actually make my own gauges. Yep. And then, uh, so this is like the boost gauge. How many boosts are you uh, running? I think my car is pushing 20. I think that's the stock you can push on these servos. Oh, okay. Anything over is just like, um, it's, not, it's not reliable. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Alright. Well, let's do another launch and then maybe I'll jump out for a couple launches. Alright. Stay out in the farm. Yeah. Just these <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably no one even lives there. Got some boost.
Yeah. What, what, uh, what's your top speed on this thing? Oh man, that's scary. Uh, <laughs> I think the fastest I went was like 290 and I was shitting quick. Jeez. Yeah, it's like, it gets oh. very sketchy. Oh. Like, it just keeps wanting to go and go and I'm like, holy moly, okay, that's just it. Just waiting for the tires to blow yeah, off. Yeah. I think the top fastest I've ever been is like two. 290, 286. Oh, yeah. I had a Yamaha R6 cross oh, and like, yeah, no protection. Uh, like you hit a freaking squirrel and it probably just turned you to dust. Yeah, you got some balls there, Yeah, like I hit, I was doing 250 once and I hit 10 feet of gravel and just went in the worst deaths way. And I literally, the rest of the drive home, I was doing 40. <laughs> it's just like, nope. Yeah, that's sketchy. Like a lot of, actually I have a couple of friends that died on, unfortunately they were, uh, they were like speeding and one of my friends was speeding and then the other one was uh, intoxicated. Jeez. Yeah, so... And clipped yeah. each other? Uh, no, so the, the, those are steps, sorry. Those oh, steps. okay. So one, one of them was actually speeding and then he got caught by a transport truck and yep. he smoked it. And then the other guy was intoxicated and he decided to drive his bike back home, I think. I think it was a party and then... Yeah. Uh, I think if I ever got a bike, I'd get a, um, just like a super moto. So, yeah. yeah, I don't think I need another crotch I think it was just a death trap. Yeah, just hit that lane way up there. Um, but yeah, like you would be, you'd go out and pull out to pass someone and they pick up so fast, like oh, you're up to yeah. 150 in a split second. And then the car ahead of you or a bike ahead of you would pull out too. Exactly. And you're trying to like freaking slow down. Yeah. Like stuff happens super fast. You know when we're young, Everyone wants a motorcycle and stuff, and but yeah, would not recommend it. But you know, I just said I had to learn eventually, so I never hurt myself. So, That's good, man. yeah, yeah, like I always, I always see people, I always see like videos where like those bikes they go over a little bump and then like the craziest shit can happen. <laughs> That's the second. death wobble, yeah, it's yeah, amazing. but it's pretty cool, man. Like, I, I gotta give it to those guys that drive really fast on bikes, man. Like, I just can't believe like a, a bike company can produce a bike that goes 300 kilometers an hour exactly. on the road. It's not a race bike. Like, it's wild. Well, and now the new Teslas coming out are going to be like three. Mm. Or the Roadster is something like 400 kilometers an hour or something. That's what it is. Electric? Electric. Yeah. And the, uh, the Roadster actually, go straight. The Roadster actually, they're coming out with a SpaceX version of it. It's supposed to do zero to 60 in 1.1 seconds. Oh my God. Like, your brain's gonna be mush from doing launches all day. Mind brain for sure. Oh yeah, 100%. Alright, I'll jump out out here and uh, get you doing a launch. Yeah. Come here, little peel. I don't know if that was there before, if that's from now. I think that's from now. All right, let's get him doing a drive-by. Gotta love those blow-off valves. They always sound so good. <laughs> let's do uh, one more launch, and then I'll get uh, you doing a fast drive-by. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad the rain stopped like as you can see there's kind of ponds in every field uh, yesterday was way worse obviously the uh the water's soaking into the ground now but yeah there's like some fields are complete lakes right now oh like back there got a big lake all right here he comes oh, that's a quick drive-by right there Looks like it's time to take those beans off. Alright, I think we should head back around the Maverick. <laughs> Thought I heard a river here. It's just all this water. So much water. Alright, let's grab the Mav. <laughs> that was awesome. 
I love these door handles too. Oh, there's the Instagram. fun hope you guys enjoyed that video that thing shoots some sick flames she definitely beats the maverick too the maverick pulls this thing pulls she's got triple the horsepower so anyways thank you guys for watching hope you subscribe leave some comments and just share the videos on your facebook let's get those views back up and get those subs up so we can give away that uh, atv so make sure you follow him on instagram i believe this is his uh his detailing page there and then the QR code on the back. Just pause her and scan it. What's your Instagram? Uh, Trackzilla. Okay, yeah, this one. Add That's Trackzilla. what I thought. All right, thank you. Have a fantastic you. day. Don't do anything we wouldn't do, and we'll see you later. Bye.